to breeisk.com. Subject, Bree, please read this. Bree, please, don't delete this. I know you hate me, but we were best friends once, and I, I need you to read this. I think I'm in serious trouble, and there's nothing you can do, but I, I need you to read this so you understand. I know we haven't talked since sectionals. It's been forever. But what happened to you wasn't my fault. At least it wasn't entirely my fault. But I know everyone thinks it was, but I would never do anything to hurt you. This is going to sound crazy, but... I need to tell you so that someone knows. It started when we were in the 8th grade. It was the night before the Crystal Classic competition. I was at home and I couldn't sleep because I was so nervous about competing. Well, I, I got on my computer, just sort of surfing the web and stuff, but I couldn't really concentrate on anything, so I was just sitting there and I googled my name. I never should have done that, Bree. At first, it was just all the usual stuff you find when you Google yourself. Then I found a link to a Wikipedia page about me. I thought maybe our club or maybe my dad made it or something. There wasn't much there, just some basic facts about skating and what city I lived in. But the thing that got me was that it said I had won that year's Crystal Classic. I laughed because I thought for sure someone had only made it to encourage me. I confronted my dad about it, but he denied it. When I won the competition the next day, I was so happy. That was the first competition I had ever won, and it felt so good. Remember how hard I worked after that? That was when my parents hired Sergey to coach me. You know how much that must have cost. And after that, I, I would check the page before every competition, and it would always say where I placed. It said I would win the regionals at 15, and that came true. Afterwards, Sergey convinced my mom and dad that I had a real shot at the Olympics. That was when they pulled me from school. I skated every day, but I wasn't just progressing the way Sergey said I needed to if I wanted a shot at the championship. I was working so hard and skating well, but still, Sergey said I wasn't good enough. When the sectionals came, all I could think about was winning, and so I did something I shouldn't have. Everyone was saying that you were the favorite, and I felt like I had already lost the competition. So I made a Wikipedia account and tried to update my page to say that I was the winner. The thing is that after I tried to update the page, I checked it, and all it said was, Anora Petrova is a selfish little bitch who's going to get what she deserves. I broke down, and that's why I looked so awful the next day. I was just in a daze. I, I remember watching your routine and seeing your blade snap. The next thing I knew, I was on the ground and my face was covered in blood from where the tip flew off and sliced my forehead. Then they told me it was my fault because I had your skates in my possession earlier. Bree, I honestly didn't do anything to your skates. I, I swear, I wanted to win, but I wouldn't do anything to hurt you like that. When they told me I was banned from any further competitions, everyone said that I got what I deserved. Nobody even asked for my side of the story. I guess you likely heard that Sergei dropped me after that too. He said that I ruined his career. No one would ever talk to me. D do you know what it's like to be ostracized by everyone? I couldn't even get any more ice time after that. And then the page got worse. Anytime I check it, it would say all these horrible things about me. I can't even tell you half of them. The language was so vile. I cry every time I read it, but I couldn't stop checking it. And I, I knew I had to do something, so... I made a complaint to Wikipedia. I even tried calling them, but no one there claimed to know anything about the page. I, I was home alone that Friday night, when I decided to check and see if, there had, if it had been taken down in any way, and the page was still there. 
Only this time it said, And Nora Petrova is a pathetic little orphan. I freaked out at that point. I kept calling my parents to warn them, but every time I did, I would hear this horrible laughter on the other end. I must have called them a hundred times until I just couldn't take the sound of the laughing anymore. After the accident, the police gave me their phones, and there wasn't any record of my calls that night. I was devastated, and before that, I was so busy training all day and doing homeschool, I never realized just how alone I had been the whole time. I know you tried to reach out, but I was just so depressed and angry that I would just shut everything out. Once I turned 18 and got my settlement money from the court, I came to Switzerland. I got to reinvent myself. My skating really took off, and it hasn't even been a year, and I still feel like everything that happened was so long ago. That's why I shouldn't have done it, Bree. I'm writing to you now from an old hotel outside of Prague, and I'm auditioning for the Ice Circus tomorrow. I know it's the kind of thing we used to make fun of, but I really wanted this. I was feeling really nervous, so out of an old habit, I checked my page. It was so hard to say this, but when I read it to see if it said I had the job tomorrow, all it said was, Anora Petrova died friendless and alone, and it has today's date listed as the date of my death. I'm sobbing so hard. I could barely type this, but I wanted you to know the truth. Please, please believe me, Bree. I attached a screenshot of the page, and it's all there, just as I told you. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know anyone here. Nobody here speaks English, so I, I just keep refreshing the page. God, it's been forever, but I keep refreshing, but it still hasn't changed. I'm waiting for midnight. I don't know what to do, so I locked myself in my room. There's only, there's only a few minutes to midnight now. All I can do is refresh the page. I'm exhausted, but I can't stop. I can't. I'm afraid to leave the computer until I know what happens next. Anora Petrova was an American Junior Reginald's figure skater who died a friendless orphan because she was a greedy little piggy. The Petrova family suffered tremendously because of Anora's petulant attitude. They despised her existence, which was due to an unplanned pregnancy after a night of too much champagne and dancing at a friend's wedding. Anora was disliked by everyone who knew her, including her renowned coach, Sergei Polikiv. You should learn a lesson from Anora. Anora delved too deep and got what she deserved. But enough about that little pig. Let's talk about you. All alone and reading this drivel. Tell me, what would you like to be when you grow up? Anora had great aspirations and I believed in her. At least I did for a while. Such a little piggy. But then, you're not like her, are you? No. I see something great in you. Something unrealized. We could go to great places together, you and I. Yes. The more I think about it, the more I realize that this isn't just a case of happenstance. Great things could happen when you stumble upon a page like this. Think about it. You with your talents and me, well, let's just say that I have an ace or two up my sleeve. That I wouldn't mind playing on your behalf. So tell me, what do you desire most? Oh, you're thinking about it. And the answer is yes. Together we can accomplish great things. I could help you so much. I could take you places that you've never even dreamed of. But first, you're going to have to do something for me.